most of my life I felt disconnected. Growing up, I didn't have a family life. My mom did her best to take care of us, but my dad was out of the picture. By around the age of 12, I started vandalizing the neighborhood through graffiti. It was who I was, my identity, but behind those tags was a lost child. I dropped out of school, I started using drugs, and eventually got into some trouble. Most kids spend their birthday with their family and friends opening presents and celebrating. I spent my 17th birthday in a jail cell. I didn't know it at the time, but that night ended up being the best thing that ever happened to me. Part of my punishment was to do mandatory community service at a nearby church. The men in charge looked at me and said, okay, let's get to work. I knew I had to get healthy and my cousin invited me to go to church. Turns out it was the same church I had done community service and the guy I thought it was the janitor was actually the pastor. This was when the picture began to change for me. I stopped using drugs, I went back to school, I started to put my life back together. I really connected with one of my teachers. She encouraged me to pursue my passion for painting. A man who owned a local business gave me a job, which helped out a lot. As I look back, there were so many people who believed in me. They connected me to faith, to education, to employment, and most of all, to my community. They say it takes a village to raise a child. For me, it was my mom, it was a pastor, a teacher, a business owner. A whole community came together and changed my story. My name is Ruben Hernandez. This is my story.